I'm just going to slap this right on the beginning of the video before you watch it. I messed this ability up, hide in darkness, for a little bit. Uh, I correct it later in the video, so I'm not putting this on the mistake playlist, but yeah. Uh, hide in darkness, the first possibly two or three times you see it, it'll be played extremely powerfully and extremely wrong. But I correct that and I give the defending team a unit back because of it after a death occurred, so oops. Here to defend themselves is the 10th Regiment of Foot, and they're bringing along their hero, Tandros Creel. They'll be represented by the Purple D20 today. Here's their army cards. We'll take a look. They have 10th Regiment of Foot. Wait, then fire. If none of the 10th Regiment of Foot move this turn, add one die to their attack. Melee defense one. When rolling defense dice against a normal attack from an adjacent figure, a soldier in the 10th Regiment of Foot adds one to his defense dice. And bayonet attack. When rolling attack dice against an adjacent figure, a soldier in the 10th Regiment of Foot adds one to his attack dice. A soldier in the 10th Regiment of Foot can only use bayonet if he moved at least one space this turn. And we have Tandros Creel. Tandros Creel has plus two broadsword. If Tandros Creel is attacking an adjacent figure, add two dice to Tandros Creel's attack. And cleave. When Tandros Creel attacks an adjacent figure, you may choose one squad figure that is also adjacent to Tandros Creel. If the defending figure receives any wounds from Tandros Creel's attack, the chosen figure receives one wound. And combat challenge. If an opponent figure that is adjacent to Tandros Creel attacks with a normal or special attack, it must attack Tandros Creel. And the challengers, represented by the black D20, are going to be the Deep Worm Drow, and they are bringing along the hero Peloth. Their army cards have the following abilities. Poison weapons. Each time a Deep Worm Drow attacks a small, medium, or large hero with a normal attack or leaving engagement attack and inflicts at least one wound, roll the 20-sided die. If you roll a 1 to 11, nothing happens. If you roll a 12 or higher, add one additional wound to the defending figure. And hide in darkness. If a Deep Worm Drow is attacked with a normal attack and at least one skull is rolled, roll the 20-sided die. If that Deep Worm Drow is on a dungeon space, add 3 to your die roll. If it is on a shadow space, add 6 to your die roll. If you roll a 1 to 15, roll defense dice normally. If you roll a 16 or higher, ignore all damage that would be inflicted by the attack. And their hero is Peloth, with Loth Wrath Special Attack, Range Special Attack 3. Choose a drow figure you control that is within five clear sight spaces of Peloth, and then roll three attack dice. One at a time for each skull rolled, you may inflict one wound on any small or medium figure that is within two clear sight spaces of the chosen drow figure. You may inflict more than one wound on a single figure using Loth's Wrath special attack. Figures affected by Loth's Wrath special attack cannot roll any defense dice. After attacking with Loth's Wrath special attack, destroy the chosen drow figure. And Lurk in Shadows. If Peloth is on a shadow space, opponent's figures must be adjacent to attack him with a normal attack. And here is the battlefield for today. We have three glyphs, and we also have Shadow Tile and some Dungeon Terrain, which is the dark gray with the light gray tops. Okay, order markers are set. Get my D20s. Roll for initiative. That is going to be 20 for the 10th Regiment of Foot and 2... For the Deep Worm Drow, so we started off with the 10th Regiment of Foot. And they have a movement of 5, so we will do 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right. Okay, that's bothering me. There we go. Order marker number one for the challengers is on the deep worm drow with a movement of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Also bothering me. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five. I was going to stay there, but once that guy moves, he'd be able to shoot him anyway. So, might as well keep him going. Order marker number two. It's on the 10th Regiment of Foot. And we are going to go one, two, three, four, and stop there. 
we're gonna go one, two, three. I could have stayed in shadow. Oh, the Glyph of Erland summoning. And just a reminder on the Glyph of Erland, when one of your figures stops here, you may summon any other figure, yours or your opponent's, by moving it into a space adjacent to that figure on the glyph. The summon figure does not receive a leaving engagement roll if it was engaged. Note, if there is no empty adjacent space, you can't use the summon power. So, we are going to actually summon this one here, out of the shadow. I wasn't pursuing Sephiroth, I was being summoned by him. And that's only two that have moved, so we've got the movement of five. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, four. We'll stop that one there. We'll stop that one there. Okay, so we are going to get a shot across right there. And that is going to be into shadow, so the dark elf the drow will get an extra defense die for being in shadow. That's going to be one, and they've got two, no, three normally, and one for shadow. And he blanks it, so we will go over their ability just to make sure one more time. Hide in darkness if a deborn drow is attacked with a normal attack and at least one skull is rolled. Roll a 20-sided die. Oh, so it doesn't even have to land a hit. I just have to roll the 20-sided die. So 15. On a 1 to 15, roll defense dice normally. So I was doing this wrong. So if the deep worm draw is in a dungeon space, add 3 to your die roll. If it's on a shadow space, add 6 to your die roll. Okay, so I will keep the four blank ones, and I'll just roll 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 extra, because I still have to roll defense dice normally. And the first results were blank. Two. Okay, he's fine. Man, that's a big defense from that shadow. And this one here will attack with bayonet attack one because he had moved onto that glyph and summoned and takes him out of the shadow. So, all right, that's going to be two normally, one for the bayonet attack. One skull was rolled. So we will now. Four. Defense dice must be rolled normally. That's going to be... Blanks it. Dead. Ooh. And we will do probably two attacks. At... Okay, yeah, you can still see even though your buddy's standing there. So we're going to do the, the farther one, further, whatever. We're going to do the one that's this one. And he's going to attack that Deep Worm Drow. Okay, that's one skull rolled. 20. Can't do anything. Let me just verify. I have not used these characters before, so... Ignore all damage that would be inflicted. So I don't roll defense dice at all. And we are going to... Ooh, that's two. 20 again. Woo. Double prizes. Let's go over here. Deep Worm Drow. And we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and stop up here. Glyph of Ulaniva. I believe that that is all unique figures get plus 1 to their normal attacks because you can't really modify special powers, but still going to read it. All unique figures in your army may add one extra attack die when attacking normally. Okay. That one's okay. We only have one unique figure. So, but he's got to stop because the glyph was power side down. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll take this glyph. This is Glyph of Felleron, which is another. This one is from the Age of Annihilation beta rulebook which was released by Avalon Hill in 2022. Renegade is re-releasing the, Av the Age of Annihilation Avalon Hill content, so we believe that these glyphs will be in the game. Remove any glyph 
Well, this one is already removed. And it doesn't say you may. It just says remove any glyph. Let me actually go check the beta rule book because that's just my handwriting and I tend to quickly write it down. And there it is, Glyph of Felleron. Remove any other glyph from the battlefield. It is not a May. And the only other glyph is the glyph of uh, the unique attack one. So we will go ahead and remove that. Which kind of stinks, because while it wasn't most beneficial, it was beneficial. So these glyphs are out. All right, finishing off their turn, we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. Walk in shadow, move in silence, guard against extraterrestrial violence. Let's do order marker number three, Tandros Creel. And he's got a movement of five. We want probably him in the shadows. The League of Shadows. One, two, four, five. Before I take order marker number three on this turn, I must remind that for Common Clash, I usually build the map first, then pick the challenger. Well, I built this map, and originally it had no shadow. But because the Deep Worm Drow came up and they benefited from shadow, I like to give the challengers the benefit of whatever terrain or special thing may uh, boost them. So... That is why these shadows are here, if you were thinking. It's pretty convenient that these random maps tend to favor somebody. But anyway, going on to order marker number three is Peloth with a movement of six. We are going to get him in shadow as soon as we can. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's going to go there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Okay, because remember, these little half-size hexes, they add zero height to a terrain piece, so the shadows count as zero, like water and molten lava and swamp water and ice. So we've got range special attack three. Five clear sight spaces of Peloth. He's got a range five already. I'm just going to shoot at the dude. Okay. So, one, two, three, three attack dice. Peloth is shooting at the 10th Regiment of Foot in the shadow. That's going to be two. They have a defense of two normally, one for shadow. Two, blocked. Nice. Round. Got 16 for the 10th Regiment of Foot and another 20 for the Deep Worm Drow. I believe that's four 20s rolled this game so far, and it is 420-24. Interesting. Now watch it be go back and be three, and that's not as cool. Okay. The, the Palindrome, 4224. Okay, number one. Deep Worm Drow with a movement of six. We are going to go... Sadly, he does not have range, and this is height one, two, three, so he can he's adjacent and can attack. We'll do it here, too. And then we will go one, no, this is a one, two, three, three. We'll stop there. Okay, let's get some attacks. We'll do an attack down on that. going to be two normally each time a deep worm drow attacks a small medium or large hero oh hero okay three normally one for height one two defense normally and one for shadow blanks Okay, and we are going to do an attack right there. Three for zero. We will do an attack down right there. Three normally, one for height. Ooh, 
four. He can't even defend it. Gone. All right. Order marker number one. Tandros Creel with a movement of five. We will go, well, here, I guess. We'll fight. So that is Tandros Creel's attacking an adjacent figure. Add two to his attack. So he's got two normally. Plus two for his plus two broadsword. The opponent figure that is adjacent to Tandros. Okay. For two. Ten. He has to roll defense dice normally. But that's going to be three normally. One for shadow. And then six more for standing in shadow. Okay, two. That's defended. Am I doing that right? Okay, it's defended, but let's take a look at the ability because that... <sighs> Hide in darkness. If a deep worm drow is attacked with a normal attack, at least one skull is rolled. Tandros attacked and rolled two skulls. Roll the 20-sided die. If the deep worm drow is on a dungeon space, add three to your die. Ah, I'm adding defense dice when it's... Oh, man. Add th six to your die roll. So 10, 16, ignore all wounds. Okay, I did that way wrong the first time. Oh, man. So he blanked it. So this one is alive. This one is dead. Okay. I'm taking that back because, come on. I would have changed everything yeah oh man all right so here's what i did because i made that mistake because <laughs> I, I was like man the shadow bonus and the extra defense die it's read and comprehend read and comprehend the dark elf that was over here would have died so i left him to die but then the deep worm drow got another turn so I moved one that would have moved up instead. And I am ignoring the fact that he possibly could have gotten attack. I'm just balancing out by giving a 10th Regiment of Foot figure back to the uh, defending team and moving one of the drow up. So anyway, that was Tandros Creel's attack. So I have to re-roll because he's standing in shadow. And he rolled 16. Oh, ignore all wounds. That's that's what it was. There wouldn't have been the extra dice. That's that's how it goes. So anyway, sorry for that. Uh, I said anyway, so anyway. Um, order marker number two. Deep Worm Drow. We're going to do this right now. Which we should have been doing it right anyway. One, two, three. And eh, we'll stay in shadow. This one will go here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That one will stop there. And this one will attack. He has to attack Tandros Creel, but he is attacking a hero. So each time Deep Worm Draw attacks a small, medium, or large hero with a normal attack or leaving engagement attack, inflicts one wound, roll a 20 sided die. If you roll a 12 or higher, add one additional wound. Okay. So, three. And that's not going to be poison anything. All right, number two is going to be the 10th Regiment of Foot. They have a movement of five. We'll go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That one will stop there. This one will stay engaged to this Dark Elf. One, two, stop there. And then one, two, three, four, and that one will stop right there. No. Five. Well, I took my hand off of him. I don't just set him up for a height attack against him. Whatever. So, yeah. I said he'll stop here before I try to remake my choice. So, we'll just do a shot up. See, it, it's a cascade effect. I start to think about the mistake I made that I'm going to leave in the video. So, people who are watching this can be like... you moron it says add six to your roll and that's six defense dice and then i start to think about it and then i start to get sloppy elsewhere so taking a step back 
knowing now that I'm going to do the ability correct, I'm not going to put this in the mistake video. I don't, I'm not going to put this in the mistake video list because I corrected the mistake early. Anyway, attack. That's one. Standing in shadow, so I had six to this roll, which would be eight. So he rolls defense dice normally, which is three plus one for shadow. And that's one. Defended. We will do an attack here, and he moved, so he gets the bayonet. Two normally, one for the bayonet. And that's none. And we will do two bayonet attacks here. Hopefully just one. Two normally, one for the bayonet. That's going to be two. He's not standing on dungeon or shadow. So, 20. All right. He's fine. And another bayonet attack. That's going to be two. Seven. Okay, so he rolls defense dice normally. That's a three. Two. Blocked. Man. Okay. Order marker number three is on Peloth. And we are going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. He'll stop here and get a height attack down. So that's going to be three normally plus one. <laughs> None. Okay. Shadow, not only good for defending, but also blinds the attackers. You guys live underground. You should be able to see. Order marker number three. It's 10th Regiment of Foot. So we... These two are engaged. This one's engaged. This one is engaged. So, one, two, three, four. We'll stop there. That one will stay there. We'll do there one. We'll just move him so he can get the bayonet. And then we'll do the same up here. We will upside down. We'll go there and we will go there. So that's two bayonet attacks. I should have probably moved another tenth reg up. But we will do an attack. We'll attack the drow because I feel like Peloth is gonna be worse to fight later, or easier to fight later. And the drow have that shadow bonus. Shadow zone! Bayonet, that's one. That's twelve. So he rolls defense dice normally. Three normally, one for shadow. Blanks it. You took a chance. And you gotta kill. And we'll do another bayonet attack here. So normally one for the bayonet. That's gonna be two. And 26, technically. Man, this is... I gotta remember this die. That seems weird, weird to me that that's rolling so many 20s. Okay, it can roll other numbers. But anyway, that one's fine. We're gonna do a bayonet attack here. Two normally, one for the bayonet. Twenty, no additions. Two. Okay, so blanks it. Dead. One, two, three, four, five, six. He only have a range of six, so he cannot get a shot. Fire off a shot. Now we will set up the order markers again. Okay. Witness Derek's videos with such thrilling action as standing up order markers, forgetting abilities, making yourself look like you don't know how to play HeroScape. Let's take the d20, roll for initiative. That's going to be 5 for the 10th Regiment of Foot, 14 for the Deep Worm Drow. They are going to go first. We are going to start off with Peloth. And he's just going to stay there. And he's going to get an attack of three on the 10th Regiment of Foot next to him. That's 
one. And he is not standing in shadow. One, defended. Okay, now we will do order marker number one. It's on the 10th regiment of foot. So we will go one, two, three, four, five. I know that's close, but it's height and it prevents them from taking too much of this dungeon terrain. I think one, two, three, four will stop there. That one will stay there. This one will go here. He will actually move into the shadow with Peloth. Okay, we're going to do two attacks of height down on the dark elves. We'll take this one. We'll go one, two, three, four, five. Whoop. This one will shoot it. Let me point the camera at what's happening. This one will shoot there. So he's got an attack of height. Two normally, one for height. That's going to be two. Are you kidding me? Another 20. Okay, well, we are going to do an attack here. And that's going to be two normally, one for height. For three. Come on, you guys can get kills if the drow stop rolling 20s. This die has to be imbalanced. I'm going to set this here. And I'm going to get another one. I mean, it's been rolling twos and eights. It is not impossible that something like this can happen. So, actually, I'm going to not get a different one. I'm going to keep going with it and see how many more times this thing rolls a 20. So, I don't, I don't really know what we're up to now. I think it's like six. Six or seven 20s. <sighs> okay. Um... We'll do a bayonet attack right there. Two normally, one for bayonet. That's one. Fifteen plus six from being in the shadow, you're fine. We'll do an attack on Peloth. Bayonet. So that's three. Peloth has a defense of three normally, one for shadow. Receives a wound. Order marker number two on this side of the table is going to be on the Deep Worm Drow. The movement of six. That one is stuck there. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. That one will go there. And one, two, three, four, five, six. This one will go here. We'll do some attacks across. Okay, for two. Yep, shouldn't have moved those guys up that far. Blanks. And then we'll do an attack across here. For two. And that's going to be one. We will do an attack back on the 10th Regiment of Foot in the shadow. For zero. Order marker number three on this side of the board, or two. I don't know why I'm skipping. Tenth Regiment of Foot. We are going to go move him here and here. Move him here. And then one, two, three, four, five. We'll stop there. And one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we'll stop there. So we'll do a bayonet attack on the drow in darkness. Normally. Okay, two. Does it really matter how many skulls you roll? Okay, and that's going to be six, and six is twelve. They roll defense dice normally. Three for the shadow, or three normally, one for the shadow. For two. Defended. These guys are tough to kill. Let's see if we can stab Peloth to death. Bayonet. That's one. Three normally, one for shadow. One defended. And one more bayonet. For two. Three normally, one for shadow. 
That's one. He receives another wound. Oh, Peloth. And he can't attack him because he's standing in shadow, so it has to be adjacent. And standing here. Standing in line to see the show tonight. And there's Tandros Creel. That's it. They can't, they can't do any other attacks because nobody's sneaking up on that side, so... We continue. Order marker number three is on Peloth. And he's going to stay there, I guess. He's going to get an attack down on the 10th Regiment that is next to him. Three normally, one for height. That's going to be three. Ooh! They only have a defense of two. So he can't defend. He's dead. I don't know what I'm getting dice in the cup for. Dead. Order marker number three is on Tandros Creel. And he is going to... He's going to attack this guy with his plus two broadsword. So two normally, plus two. That's going to be two. Here comes another 20. Three. Okay. So nine, technically. Best roll defense dice normally. Three normally, one for shadow. And two. Defended. That that Deep Worm Drow has locked down this trench since the start of the game. So we are going to set up order markers again. Alright, 14-5, Deep Worm Drow are first. So we are going to start with Peloth. Peloth Cornflakes, and that is going to be... He's going to move here and stay engaged and fight that guy. For one. None. Dead. Okay. Order marker number one. 10th Regiment of Foot. I don't think keep sending these guys up to Peloth is a good idea, so we're going to try and switch it up to this side of the board. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This one will move here to get that bayonet. So, one, two, three, four, five. Now that you can see the deep worm drow that's standing there, you're going to get an attack down from height with range. We normally one for height. That's one. 18 plus six, you're fine. You can't really go past a 24, no matter how you're looking at it. So we will do a bayonet attack in that darkness. That's one. Ten, technically, so he's got to roll defense dice normally. I knew eventually he had to die. Finally, that was like three rounds of that guy sitting in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. They can't see anything. Okay. Number one on this side of the table is already done. So we're going to go to number two, the Deep Worm Drow, with a movement of six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll stop there. We're going to get an attack across on that 10th Regiment of Foot in the Shadow. Two, and he's got two defense dice normally, one for shadow. Not defended. You've been struck down in your prime. You're dead. That's it for them. Let's go back to this side of the table. Order marker number two. Tenth Regiment of Foot. And... You can see his head... 
at his height, one, two, three from here. So four from here. So they are medium five. This head is shootable. We are gonna do weight than fire. And that is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Only two attacks this turn. Is that a waste? Is that a waste? They have that defense roll. It might be a waste this turn. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five. We'll go that one will go here. One, two, three, four, five. We'll do two attacks, one down on that guy. So first we'll do the attack down. Two normally, one for height. None. We'll do an attack across. For one. And that is defense dice normally. One. Defended. All right. And we will do a shot across there. For one. He's going to add six. So, yeah, that's plenty. You're good. And one, two, three, four, five, six. This guy is going to shoot at him as well. For one. Sixteen. It's good. Well, I mean, you took some positions. I guess you can argue that that was worth it. Okay, and then that is going to be order marker number three on this side of the table. And six movement. One, two, three, four, five. We'll stop there to lock down. Other one's coming up. And one, two, three. I know you're giving up the shadow, but one, two, three. We'll move two guys up there. We'll do an attack down on that 10th regiment of foot. Three normally, one for height, for nothing, and then we will do an attack across on the 10th regiment of foot, for one, he has a defense of two normally, one for shadow, one defended, and we'll do another attack on him from that one, one. Two normally, one for shadow. None. Dead. All right. Order marker number three is on Tandros Creel. And he is going to stop there and fight that guy. Two normally, plus two broadsword. So that's three, and he is not in shadow. Eighteen. It, oh man, this there has to be something. Let me try rolling it on just a hard surface. Thirteen, but it was stopped by the ten. Okay, it, it's rolling. It the odds are astronomical that these rolls can happen, but it is possible. I just it's, I find it so strange. The tenth regiment of foot should be cleaning this up, I believe. But, that is the round. Let me set up order markers. New round. 14, 18. This side first. Number one. 10th Regiment of Foot. And they are going to go probably full bayonet. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. We'll stop there. One, two, three, four. Hey, wait, wait. I don't know where he is, but he's going to get there. One, two, three, four, five. Because if, if this guy was, if he was standing here, this guy wouldn't have been able to move through him because he's engaged with that elf. So we'll just do that. And then we'll do one, two, three. Stop there on that one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're going to do a shot down. Two normally, one for height. For one. 
one. He rolls defense dice normally. It's just three. Blanks, they can be killed. All right, and we will do some bayonet attacks. This one will attack up first. Two normally, one for the bayonet. For three, Ugh, allergy attack. Anyway, that's three. So he's got three defense normally, one for height. But first, we are going to He's fine. We're gonna get an attack across. Get those defense dice out of here. You never need them. As long as it's 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Okay. Attack across with a bayonet for two. 20. Okay. That thing's cheating. It's not, not fair. And we're gonna do another bayonet attack. For three. Fifteen. Oh, you're not in shadow or anything. You're good. You gotta roll defense dice. Oh, finally. Okay. Only one. Now let's see if this changes anything. Okay. Artemarker number one is on Peloth. Ah. You think darkness is your ally. You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it, molded by it. I hadn't seen the light until I was already a man. By then it was nothing but blinding. We will do an attack on Tandros Creel with Peloth. It's gonna be three. Actually, that's just one, okay. Three. Ooh, what a way to make an entrance. Four normally, one for shadow. One receives three wounds. Peloth making a state mint. Oh, he's got seven life? Redink to the Hankulus. Order marker number two on this side of the table is going to be on the 10th regiment of foot. And we will... One, two, three, four, five, two, that one will stop there. Six, five, four, three, two, one. That one will go there. And then this one will go here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Two, three, four, five. I should have been back one more space. Whatever. We will do, okay. I got, hold on, allergies. We are going to do an attack down there. Two normally, one for height. That's going to be one skull rolled. A twenty. Okay. The, I kid you not that when I threw this thing, I went and took a look at it. It landed on a twenty over there too. I I can't. I can't believe that all of my black D twenties are. Somehow imbalanced, but you're fine. You're fine. Let's do an attack down. It's just how it goes. Superstition ain't the way. Two. You gotta roll defense against three. Alrighty. You are dead. Yes, and we'll do two attacks of bayonet on old Peloth. So that's two. It's got three normally. One for shadow. Defends one of it. He's at three wounds of four life. Two more coming at him. Three normally, one for shadow. And only defends one. Peloth goes down. Okay. And that was 10th Regiment of Foot's turn. This side of the table, order marker number two was on Peloth. So it goes back to this side of the table. 
which is Tandros. And he is going to go here. And attack with two normally, plus two from his broadsword. So that's one. Why did the why do they why? 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 We are going to You know, if this entire map was molten lava, the elves would have been able to freely move through it at least 10 spaces. But that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Stop focusing on that. It's just a die. Order marker number three, Deep Worm Drow. Let's go get some revenge. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. That one will stop there. One, two, no. We'll do an attack across on Tandros Creel. For two. Four defense normally. One for shadow. Three defended. We'll do an attack up. For two. Two normally, one for height. Blanked. Every time I've tried to get up and get some kills on non-shadow, non-dungeon terrain, these guys have been wiped out. Okay. This side doesn't need its X order marker anymore because Peloth be gone. Fifteen to two. Deep worm our first. So we will go order marker number one. Deep worm drow. Let's take let's try and take down this hero. Three, that one will go there. Three. That one will stop there. And then we'll get this one to go here. So we will do an attack across first on this tenth regiment of charges out when he should stay back and shoot. It's going to be one. One defended. Let's do an attack across on Tandros Creel. It's two. He's got four normally, one for shadow. Defended. And one more attack. For three. Four normally, one for shadow. Two. That is one. And now we will roll for poison weapons. Twelve or higher. Oh, look at that. Just enough. Just a just a little taste of that poison. Just a Oh, I don't feel so good. What is that? A little bit of poison. So that's five. Order marker number one. Tandros Creel. Who is Sandwiched between two deep worm drow, so he is going to get out of that sandwich and attack with his plus two broadsword. We're going to attack the one in the back for one. Well, we're going to attempt to attack the one in the back, and then this thing's going to oh, two, so eight with the plus six from the shadow, three normally, one for shadow. You're fine. You're not going to get a cleave off with that. Okay. Deep Worm Drow are up. The movement of six. We are going to go... One, two, three, four, five, six... And we will just do two attacks. We'll do one across here on the 10th Regiment. For one. Got two defense. Blanks. All right, took a chance. That paid off there. Let's see if it works with Tandros. Do an attack with poison weapons. For three. Oh. Four normally, 
one for Shadow. This could be it for Tandros. Yep, he receives two wounds, which is enough to kill him. But how did he die? Ooh, 19 poison. Iocane powder. I'd bet my life on it. He's dead. Tandros Creel is Tandros Heal because he's dead. Let's do... No, Heal is a bad guy in wrestling. That was, that was a bad, bad analogy. Ah, oh, well. 10th Regiment of Foot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You're already getting height attacks. The elves will be moving up. Secure this line. One, two, three, four, five. And, you know, abandon the sides. One, two, three, four, five. It's not working out. It's not working out. We're going to have to just take the middle. So that is going to be several attacks down. We'll do this guy to right there first. For two. Six and six is twelve. So three normally, one for shadow. And that is two. He is defended. Let's do another attack down. Imagine if I had just played this whole video with rolling like eleven defense dice every time. Uh, nothing. And we'll do another attack of height. This guy on that one. For three. Thirteen plus six, you're good. And one more attack down from height. This one on that one. For two. No surprise. Okay. Four guys just missed four shots on a guy standing right in front of them. Let's do... Deep Worm Drow, and we'll move this one to here, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, we'll do that. We'll get an attack up, right there, for three, two normally, one for height. Only one. Does not defend. That's the Deep Worm Drow. That's a technical foul. Let's do... Order marker number three. It's on 10th Regiment of Foot. One, two, three, four, six. I want the weight than fire, but these guys are in the low ground. It's three dice, or three attacks of four dice versus if I moved the bayonets, that would be one, two, two attacks of four dice. Five dice. Two attacks of five dice. Two attacks of four dice. I will move one up. One, two, three, four. This one will go here. This one will go here. This one will go here. So we are going to do a bayonet. That is going to be down there. Not five dice. Where was I getting that from? I'm stupid. Okay. Two normally. One for the bayonet. One for height. Two attacks of four. Two attacks of three. That's more accurate. I don't know where I was getting five from. So we're going to start and just work our way down the line. See if anybody can land a hit on this guy. One. One. Okay. Still has to get past the shadow. Doesn't. Okay. We'll do another bayonet attack plus height. Two normally. One for the bayonet. One for height. That's going to be two. You're going to be fine. We're going to do an attack of height. Two normally, one for height, for one. Also fine. And one more attack from height for two. Seven. 
seven and six is 13, I believe. It's a 15 or higher. That's Lolf. He's dead. Or Peloth. Oh, 12 or higher. I shouldn't have even rolled that other time. 12 or higher. Like I said, I've never used these Deep Worm Draw before. This is a new experience. So, either way, you're good. Okay. So, that was a 13, because 7 and 6. You're fine. Set up order markers again. You don't need your X order marker. And I gave these guys the orange order markers because people say this color is gold, but it is more orange than gold, especially when you put it in a like a Panatone color finder on the internet. It comes up usually oranges or browns. Even though he has a lot of gold in his lore. So, but that's how I interpret it. And I'm not saying that I'm authority on colors. 18 and 7. 10th Regiment of Foot get to go first. They are going to wait and fire. So, we are going to do that's two normally, one for height, one for wait and fire. All right. Two defended. Okay. Another, another attack of weight and fire. Two normally. One for height. One for weight and fire. That's two more. Okay, you're fine. I have to roll a five or less for that guy to be targetable. That's four. Ah! Oh. Three. He was, man, he's dead, but sheesh. This one is going to shoot down there. Normally, one for height, one for weight, then fire. And that's just one. So, again, I have to roll a one to five to get defense die rolled, which is happening. And one defended. And order marker number one. I'm going to move this one here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That one will stop there. We'll get an attack up. Three, two normally, one for height. That's one. He is dead. I had a request to do the 4th Massachusetts line versus the 10th Regiment of Foot, and I said I would do that if the 10th Regiment of Foot won. It's not looking likely, but if they do, I will do that. If not, I will save that battle for another time until I've gone through the common clash. So, it is now order marker number two, 10th Regiment of Foot. And we are going to go here, there, that one will go there. One, two, three, four. Okay, we'll do two bayonet attacks down. Two normally, one for bayonet, one for height. So three, you're fine. Do another bayonet attack for two. All right, three normally, one for shadow. Only one, okay. And we will do an attack down. Two normally, one for height. One. And he has to roll defense dice. He's fine. And we'll do one more attack down from height. One. Eight. That's fine. 
we will do order marker number two. We'll move this one here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We'll stop there. And we'll get an attack up. For one. Blank. So we will do that. Order marker number three. One, two, three, four, five. Do this one here, this one here. Stop there. Okay, we will do an attack from height down on that one. No, we'll do we'll do a bayonet attack first. Two for height, one for the bayonet. Or two normally, one for height, one for the bayonet. It's one. Fine, and another bayonet attack, two normally, one for height, one for the bayonet. It's two. You're fine. We'll do an attack from height down on that guy. Two normally, one for height. It's just one. He's got a roll defense dice. Three normally, one for shadow. You're fine. And another attack from height. Two. You are fine. <sighs> okay, deep worm drow. You know, rather than funnel them in one at a time because they are dying, I should. One, two, three, four, five, six. That might have been a wasted turn. But just going to force them to. This guy's going to risk going out of the shadow, and that guy's going to stay there, actually, because if he moves, I don't get an attack. We'll do two attacks up first on the non-shadow guy. He's attacking the one on the extreme left from this perspective. Doesn't matter who he's attacking. He might as well be fighting the pine tree. Let's do another attack up from the one in the shadow for one. He's going to be attacking the guy right in front of him, left again. For one, defended. Okay, this is it's coming down. This next round's probably for all the marbles. It's probably for all of them, you know. Get them, uh, uh beat you marbles, stick your marbles. Let's do... Whoa, whoa, a 20! Oh, those are so rare, you never see them. Deep Worm Drow. They are first, so we will do one, two, three, four, five, six. They do have a movement of six. And we'll start to have to split these guys up here. We will do an attack right there, right across, same level. For one. One. We'll do an attack up on the guy that was just attacked. For one. One. And we will do an attack up on the middle guy. For one. None. I knew eventually somebody had to die. It's been a lot of back and forth here. Number one, we are going to wait then fire first. We are going to shoot down at, hmm, yes, we will shoot down at that one from him. Two normally, one for weight and fire, one for height. That's three. You have no shadow to defend you. So 12 or higher, four. Dead. Okay, we will do an attack across here. Two normally, one for weight and fire. Nothing. We will do an attack down. Two normally, one for weight and fire, one for height. That is going to be two. One to five is what we're looking for. That's more than that. 
Order marker number two is on the deep worm drow. I'm just going to stay on this side of the table now. So we will do one, two. That one will stop there. Then we will go two. That one will come up here. And then one, two, three, four, five. That one will go there. Let's do an attack back. The cat came back the very next day. Got That's two. And we will do an attack on this one. For one. Defended. And we will do an attack up. Nothing. Number two. We're going to wait and fire. So we will do an attack, you know, across the down, the height would be better, but they're just they're rolling too good in those shadows. I gotta get a kill for two. I'm looking for a twelve or higher. Fifteen. Might as well just went for the one. Defended. Order marker number three. Deep worm drow. We will go one, two, three, four. Keep the base on the space. It's in the rule book. We will do an attack across. For three. You can't even defend. All right. We will do an attack across again. Stop. Stop. They're already dead. And we will do another attack up. No, I won't because I moved I moved that guy right there. This guy can't attack. So, the 10th Regiment of Foot get probably one last roll. And we are going to wait and fire. Disciplined to the end. <laughs> An idiot to the end. Let's do another. Well, we might get one more shot. Might. Depends on if uh, the deep worm drow die decides to roll less than 20. 13 to 10. Drow are first. Order marker number one. One, two, three, one, one, two. We'll do three attacks across. <sighs> three. Well, we're going to do one attack across because he only has two defense die. That map was really advantageous to the Deep Worm Drow. Normally, Shadow is more sporadically placed and not a straight line that gives safe passage straight to the ranged units. So, while the Deep Worm Drow were rolling beyond excellent, against all odds, I don't know if they'll do as good the next time because the map won't be trenches of shadow. This was just to show the advantage that they get from dungeon and shadow spaces. It's not always going to be that same way. And then adding to the Hall of Losers is this cheaty dice. Put it up here. Even though it's that should be in the Hall of Winners. I can't put you up there. You cheat. You don't even get to be in any hall. You are disqualified. So we will just uh, instead add the 10th Regiment of Foot to the Hall of Losers. Why is that not focusing? It's like that guy doesn't exist. Anyway... That's that. Another common clash in the books.